guys, so I just thought this would be a perfect video. Um, just overall, about dogs. I currently have a Pomeranian. I just got him. He's only five months old. I have a Chihuahua, a Papillon mix, and I have, that is definitely the dominant one. I have a Yorkster who is pretty much older. Uh, the other two that are older, um, Queen's probably like eight-ish, and then the Yorkster Cairn Terrier mix, most likely, is probably about 10 or older. That has no teeth. So this is going based off all that information. Um, I just brought the Pomeranian and I'm just gonna kind of give you guys an update. Um, first off, my two older ones are complete rescues. They are not the nicest dogs to overall. So if you do have rescues that you do know are pretty dominant, I would highly suggest getting a under six months old because they realize that it's a puppy and they're gonna nicely tow it instead of just trying to fight it because anything over a year, apparently it's just, they should know better according to dog world. Um, I really don't know how they know the age and everything, but they do. So yeah, um, they were super, super nice to them. I really didn't think that it would take this quickly to put them all together and everything. I'm currently potty training the Pomeranian. Um, he loves sleeping on the bed with me. He sleeps on my foot. Savant, uh, the Yorkster mix, sleeps um, kind of all over the bed. He loves being on the bed with me. Um, and then yeah, Chihuahua mix sleeps on the floor on her bed or on my clothes. And also he loves, Pomeranians also love sleeping on my clothes. I really think honestly, Queen is also a little bit Pomeranian because Queen is more spirited than my own Pomeranian. My Pomeranian's a male. Um, his name is Zara. And then I have two males and one female. And I prefer males just because they're goofy. Um, some, but also, I mean, this is, you know, coming from a female herself. So they're goofy. They have a lot of just, uh, they're not as dominant and they are protective, but they're just not as dominant. They're very nice. Um, for what I've dealt with, even though Savant is not nice to other humans, he's nice. He's great with other dogs. He is perfect. He shares so nicely with the new one. It's amazing. Um, out of the three dogs, I can't really judge because A, my other two are mixed, but the easiest dog I have ever had as a puppy, I've had two or three puppies, probably more. Uh, my time is this one right um it is a little older it's easy <laughs> but it has a like guess if he's inside it goes on the pad though as soon as i got it knew to go on either pad or rug it's super super easy it's crazy you wouldn't even think that you have a puppy but you do um again coming from actually he's around five months um but he's still really young and then, sorry, I'm like trying to see. <laughs> um, Queen and Savant are super sweet dogs. So to me, um, my Pomeranian is already trying to show effect like he wants to protect his mom. Um, all the small dogs are very protective and also very territorial of their own place. So my dog thinks that they run this whole building right here. Uh, not the greatest thing if you do live in an apartment. I don't live in an apartment, but I do live in something that is similar to one. And yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> Whenever I did live in an apartment with Queen and Savant, yeah, that was fun. Um, especially whenever people try to come in. It's a whole thing. So Queen and Savant have days I swear can we go up away like no doubt about it when I do about it is just realize some days if I notice certain things you just have to remove her from situations that will get you in trouble or get her in trouble and yeah um with Zar I'm trying to socialize them separately just for the fact that I do have a dominant dog I mean I do take them out all together I do um I have taken them to the dog park Today was the first time all together, all three. 
I just feel like it's too much for me to handle at right now, mainly because those two are crazy. Now, if it was just him and Savant and another like decent dog that's not gonna try to kill somebody, then yeah. And that's a word of adoration, by the way. Um, but she definitely does have her moments where she just doesn't want to have another dog in that area and she gets she loves other females like I think she's honestly a lesbian which is fine but it's just she you never know if she's either gonna want to attack it's either zero or hundred is the best way to say and I think that is the chihuahua in it in there so and possibly Papillon. I mean, possibly Pomeranian. I really, honestly, it's been a while since I looked up Papillons, but again, male and female is a complete difference. So, so if you're looking at a dog, make sure you also look at the gender, and also if you have other dogs, look at their gender and see what would fit best with your situation. I just knew I couldn't have a female because of Queen. Like it's just an no females allowed to watch. It's a bigger dog. they would be fine. But my lifestyle, I shouldn't have a bigger dog. Probably shouldn't have three dogs either. But I'm lonely. I love dogs. And I do plan on being home more often. So it's the best fit. And I'm super happy that he joined the family. And he is definitely adjusting, let's say that. <laughs> I mean, it's just still the first few days, so he's still adjusting. That's just being honest. He is adjusting very, very well, though. But, you know, um, he's super sweet. Like, um, he does definitely get scared. Um, he has his day. Like, if one thing happens, and this also goes to my Yorkie mix, if one thing happens that kind of, like, throws him off, he's kind of off the whole day. Um, which is fine. I mean... I think they probably just hold grudges a little bit, uh, which is fine. I'm used to it. I think definitely having the other two is a big comparison to him, like a really big comparison because A, he's a puppy, B, he's going to be socialized. These two are, like these are, those two are socialized, but there's just certain things that these, the other two can't do. Like they can't be pet by a human. Some days I can with Queen, some days I can't. And you never know, if Savant goes off, Queen's gonna go off. Queen's gonna do her thing. Um, but I've left, I have, this is my first time I left them to go take out their actual fight. And they did perfectly fine together. Um, for food, I do suggest a barely, very good, well, like nice diet, especially for rescue, but slowly obviously go into it. Um, Queen currently is having some just nasty issues with her stomach. She has issues with her stomach kind of often. So I just tried to watch out for that. Um, definitely watch their poop whenever they first come home for probably the month. Just to kind of be cautious on everything. And yeah. But at first I will say the puppy definitely did not play his toys. He did not. I was kind of mad. I'm like, dang, I bought all these toys. He doesn't even play with them. He hoards the toys, for sure. He hoards them in just one specific area each time. Um, unlike my other ones, he wants all the toys at once. <laughs> so that's a little difference compared to my two older ones. But also, my older one is not used to, someone's just not used to toys. He only likes like two or three toys and he's good. Queen, she'll do all of them, but yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, this one probably gonna be a big one is how you introduce them. I honestly just bought this fence and I love it. It also has a little um, door, so if you have a smaller dog or cat, you can go through it. My two older ones thought it would be game because I put it up right before I got them. The day, like that day, <laughs> um, they thought that was really cool. Um, I just personally don't really need that doggy door open because I don't have bigger dogs here. But if you do have bigger dogs and you have small dogs, there's there's places I do know like sometimes it's easier to have your small dogs than your big dogs. Um, 
I feel like that would be perfect for my family's house because they have two bigger dogs. Um, I actually put him in his crate first to introduce him. Queen was not happy at all. And then I held him and they kind of sniffed him slowly. Literally that night though, I don't know how, but they pretty much hit off from day one. Like I think she started realizing, oh, this is a young one. And I feel like also my no, whenever it's gonna be here. And yes, my dogs got very mad. They had attitudes. They um, were acting up. Um, whenever someone also wants more attention, they like act like something's wrong with him. It's a whole thing. So I'm just used to it. Um, they're fine now. They're friends. And yeah, pretty much. Lon's kind of looking at me off and on, and Zara is getting talked out. The queen is having a to sleep. So I'm going to end this, and I hope that kind of helped you guys with everything. And yeah, so if you have any other questions, I'll try to answer them in the comments.